This video is basically an opinion, but if you don't know the news, that you know them already, hear what happens. We are on Linux Mint 20 beta, and we're trying to install Ubuntu Snap Daemon. So Mint will catch an error that Snap has in an installation candidate, even if Linux Mint uses default Ubuntu repos. That's because Linux Mint had added a safeguard on apt preferences, preventing the installation of Snap Store. This file basically says that Mint no longer supports the proprietary Ubuntu Store, or the open source client which connects to it. Then it will give us a link to their official blog, and some instructions if we want to enable Snap support anyway. On this blog post, Linux Mint developers explain the reason behind their choice, which in short is a well-known issue with Snap replacing Chromium apt package, without user's consent. These are our facts, as fact is that Linux Mint isn't alone. Two more major Ubuntu-based systems have ditched Snap support, and I mean elementary and pop OS. The last two may not forbid Snap installations, but they don't officially supporting it, and their developers don't recommend it either for technical reasons. And from the boring facts let's go to the awesome personal opinions. And the very first opinion is that I don't consider either Linux Mint, or elementary OS, or even pop OS, anywhere near to serious Linux vendors. Not because they are based on Ubuntu, but because they're actually using Ubuntu repos directly. And yes, I know that Pop OS is planning to move on their own repositories, but that's not the case at the time. Then when we move to large Linux vendors like Fedora or Clear Linux, it doesn't get much to realize that Red Hat and Intel or anyone else really, can't have Ubuntu Snap apps that all their analytics going directly and only to canonical servers. Basically Canonical killed Snap with their own hands, by making the backend proprietary and making sure that nobody else could really use it. So why they did that? Are they idiots? No they are not idiots. They are just self-obsessed with manic symptoms, and they think it is just them and nobody else. They think that Linux users don't have choices, and they will just use Ubuntu. So back to facts and results. Ubuntu Snap is just a dying project that nobody is using, and Canonical sucks. And I hate to be that guy but I had told you so. Actually, it feels great to be that guy. I've got the brain.